Welcome to teaching number 29. This is Peter and Camilla Olman from the TBC Discipleship Network. And they, today we will speak about uh, living as a Christian or a disciple in everyday life. Yes. So Camilla will start to read from Acts uh, chapter 9, verse 10 to 19. It's a story about Ananias and Paul. In Damascus there was a disciple named Ananias. The Lord called to him in a vision, Ananias! Yes, Lord, he answered. The Lord told him, Go to the house of Judas on Straight Street and ask for a man from Tarsus named Saul, for he is praying. In a vision he has seen a man named Ananias come and place his hands on him to restore his sight. Lord, Ananias answered, I have heard many reports about this man and all the harm he has done to your holy people in Jerusalem. And he has come here with authority from the uh, chief priest to arrest all who call on your name. But the Lord said to Ananias, Go, this man is my chosen instrument to proclaim my name to the Gentiles and their kings and to the people of Israel. Mm. I will show him how much he must suffer for my name. Then Ananias went to the house and entered it. Placing his hands on Saul, he said, Brother Saul, the Lord Jesus, who appeared to you on the road as you were coming here, has sent me so that you may see again and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Immediately something like scales fell from Saul's eyes and he could see again. He got up and was baptized and after taking some food he regained his strength. Mm. So uh, I just want to stress that not everybody feels like I'm an evangelist. Not everybody has this like, oh we need to, to, to tell the, the gospel to everybody. But the thing is, no, maybe you're not called to go out in these outreaches and things, but you can put them in your calendar, absolutely. And you can train others if you have been trained. But the most important thing is to understand, we are all to go in our everyday life. So in the morning, I usually pray, Holy Spirit, give me opportunity today. Open my eyes to see uh, who I will tell, mm. who I will uh, give the, the good news to. And then help me to take the, 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 the occasions in my hand and do it. Mm. And uh, I think that we, everybody, should understand that we are disciples of Jesus Christ 24-7 together before the Lord. And that means that we are living this life all the time. It doesn't matter where we are, home or another building or outside. Uh, together with people that are, are Gentile, I mean like atheists or, or believers or whatever. So uh, we can do it can all do it. Let's do it. Ask the Holy Spirit and help him, ask him to help us to do it mm. and to speak and to pray and to, to heal people, cast out demons in our everyday life. Like Ananias. Wow, what happened in his life because of this and in, in other people's lives. Yes. So you can see how he, he was, uh, he, we, we don't actually know what he was doing. Maybe he was, he was working that day. But the Lord spoke to him and he said like, go to the straight street of Damascus. And you know, the, at that time, Saul was the fear of the Christians. You know, nobody went uh, to Saul uh, uh, by the free will. You know, they had to escape him, run from him. And suddenly the Lord is telling Ananias, go to him now on the straight street of Damascus. He said, no, 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 go. He was obedient, but he was also led by the Spirit. Because of course he recognized the voice. He could hear that this was God speaking to him. Or else he would never have gone there. You can imagine what went through his head when he was walking down the street towards Saul's house, the house that Saul were. were. This is the last day of my life. I'm going to go to heaven today. <laughs> <laughs> but he went there. And uh, what we can see also, he didn't separate his uh, normal life from a, uh, from a life to disciple. He was directly uh, willing to be obedient to the calling. And this is something you need to see. If you want to see this work now with the sharing part, you need to be uh, make yourself available, mm -hmm. you need to be obedient, and you need to be led by the Spirit, of course. If you don't recognize the voice of God, you need to learn how He speaks to you. Because uh, then He will direct you, and then you need to be willing to sacrifice stuff. Mm -hmm. Let go of everything. Let go of your nets and walk and do what it has to do. Mm -hmm. Then you will see results. You, I can almost promise you, you won't see things happen if you're not willing to obey God and be obedient and uh, also, of course, being led by the Spirit. And devote yourself to yeah. being a disciple of Jesus yeah, Christ yeah. always. Yes, don't yeah. separate your life at your work or when you do uh, go play, play tennis or golf or whatever. Don't separate that from your uh, normal Christian life. Always be a disciple. Mm -hmm. Wherever you go, you're a disciple of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Don't separate it. Don't make it an agenda event and, and, or an event. Mm -hmm. Okay, on Sunday we're going to have an event. No, you can have an event every day mm -hmm. as a disciple of Jesus Christ. 
So live the life. Yes. Amen. So I think uh, we, we've been speaking a while now about the sharing perspective, Camilla. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, um, there is so much to learn, of course. And the best way to learn is to start to live it. And we have different seminars, uh, trainings. Yeah. You're welcome to attend to them, them also to learn more. Or contact somebody on our map, that our disciple, that can uh, actually help you to get further in these this ways. Uh, but I think if you're just trying to do teaching of the teaching, um, uh, it won't take you what it's supposed to take you. You need to start living it yourself. So we will end the next time with actually uh, uh, a teaching about how you can just live this in everyday life yeah. and as a disciple and uh, conclude everything, yeah. basically. So if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so. Do so. Have you watched the other teachings? Please do so. And until next time, to be continued.